In this quick tip, we'll be going over how to export your project as an EPS file in both Photoshop and Illustrator. Let's start with Illustrator. Start off with creating a new document in Illustrator, or open up an existing Illustrator document you want to export as an EPS file. In our case, we're using a vector logo we got from Envato Elements. To export as an EPS file, go to File, Save As. Now that you have opened up the Save As dialog box, you may notice that the default type is AI. This is a general project file type for Illustrator. However, other vector programs may have difficulty opening it. To change the file type, select EPS from the Format dropdown, then select Save. Next, you will be presented with a whole host of options from the EPS Options dialog window. There are a lot of options here, but typically the default option should work for most cases. Once you have reviewed the settings, go ahead and press OK. You should now have an EPS version of your project saved. Photoshop is a similar process. Start off with creating a new document in Photoshop, or open up an existing Photoshop document you want to export as an EPS file. In our case, we're again using a logo we got from Envato Elements. To export an EPS file in Photoshop, go to File, Save As. Now that you have the Save As dialog window open, use the Format dropdown and select Photoshop EPS. Notice that you are given a warning that this file format has to be saved as a copy. Photoshop automatically makes this selection for us, thankfully. Once you're ready, select Save. You will now be presented with some options from the EPS Options dialog window. Make sure that the Include Vector Data checkbox is tagged to ensure that any vector objects are saved correctly. Once you are happy with your settings, select OK. You should now have an EPS copy of your Photoshop project. And there you have it. That's how you export the EPS from both Illustrator and Photoshop. As you can see, exporting your project as an EPS file in both Illustrator and Photoshop is a fairly straightforward process. Whether a print shop or a client has requested it, or you are just curious, now you know how to achieve this. Found this quick tip useful? Then please take a moment to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching!